Good morning, folks. In this session, we'll show you a demo of Rista Salon Management Solution. Rista offers a complete salon management in a seamless package. All the functions that a salon business require from sales, operations, customer relationship, marketing, feedback, everything, inventory management, and etc. Uh, we offer everything in a one seamless package. So it's a one app model where you can access and perform all the functions on just one single platform. So once you log in, um, this is the first screen that you come across and let us show you how you can run simple sale uh, intuitively. So tap on to this top new control panel that you see. This is where you have access to all the different modules, schedule, inventory, anything that you want. You just tap on it and you can enter the module. So let's run a sale. Tap onto the new order. This is your POS screen. On the right side, what you see are all the services that you have uh, added. You can group uh, services into different categories based on uh, for the easy find and easy navigation. So what we have done, we have put all the hair care services under the hair care category, all manicure, pedicure in one category and so on. This way at the time of sale, we can just easily select the categories and select the service that we need. Uh, so I'm just going to browse quickly uh, services and as you see that you also have products into the system. So you can uh, easily, if you're selling a products also, you can create a category based on the product name and you can sell those also, no issues. So let's run a sale. I select the service that I want. If you have different option, you can just tap an option button, select option. And uh, you can also attach a specialist to each service that you are performing. So let's say this is a service will be performed by Michelle. So I selected that. If you want to write some special notes, uh, let's say customer is allergic to bleach or something they want to, you know, at the time of uh, maybe appointment or at the time of the service they tell you, you can make a note. So um, the stylist can be careful uh, to perform the service. So we can write that here. Now at this point you just um, have two options. You can close the sale and record the payment. Or if you think customer is going to uh, want to avail more services, you can also keep it in the open format by going into this top save button. So what it does is it saves this open order and you can always open this order and add new services and then close it when the customer has completed the services and they know they're not going to want more services. So where do you find this open service? Just go back button, open this, you see this open, just tap on it. It will list on all the open services. You open, tap pencil icon. Now you're back to the same mode you started with. Add another service into the bucket. So let's say customer now wants a hair care service. And we have three options here. So I'm going to select one of the options. Uh, okay, body shop. This is the material that we'll be using and the customer is ready to pay. So we'll click on the pay button. Now it brings you to this payment mode screen. Um, so here we listed quite a few options for the payment modes, but this is fully customizable. Let's say you only have cash and credit card and debit card, things like that. You, it will only show the option that you have listed. We're calling payment by credit. So let's do that. And um, sale is completed. Now you can even email the customer or SMS them the receipt, a digital copy of it, or just print a hard copy. That's it works. So that's a quick service uh, we showed you. Now very important aspect. Okay guys, so in salon business, very important crucial information is the customer information. So Rista is very customer centric uh, system. On the left corner that you see, customer icon, you tap on it and it will open up this window where you can search your customer and or create a new customer if you like. So let's say we have an existing customer and we can search them by phone number, email name, uh, whichever form you like. Uh, so we typed it, you select the customer name and click on this uh, activity button. 
what it does it gives you overall summary of this customer right there when you need it so first is the initial profile of the customer that you can even see other information but this gives you what is the loyalty point of customer what is the overall sales they had like they have available 43 services and how much revenue generated what was the last service performed uh, by the uh, for the customer all the favorite service item that they have availed so you have listed that also so you can provide a recommendation when the customer walks in you know what are the services you know they would prefer it also gives you feedback if you're using a marketing module uh, you can see the ratings they're giving you and all the feedback they're giving you so you can let's say if they're not happy in last service you have now another chance to win back their loyalty by engaging them uh, in the providing service or correcting uh, some of the mistakes that you might have made in the previous services so this is a quick thing now tap outside you have a link your um, sale uh, uh, that you're generating with the customer now tap on the service that the customer wants so we're just going to go back select the service let's say we this is the quality luxury option we attach again a stylist to it now this is a customer we offer certain discount let's say he's a silver membership customer so I'm going to give him a 5% discount we can do that and tap OK then your customer is ready to pay so click on the pay button and record the payment like we did before tap on the OK button now since I've attached a customer all the information about the email SMS is already populated so I can just tap on SMS and send the customer SMS uh, a copy of the receipt uh, as long as your device supports the SMS ability all right and then you can even close it and um, that's pretty much all it takes to run a sale as I said it's very intuitive and simple now another aspect I think um, and for very important for salon business is the calendar management or, or the appointments so what I'll do in this session run you quickly how uh, simple but powerful the calendar management is but before that let me show you the how to attach new customers so here is the customer data let's say you want to look at your customer list you can always come here you can also add a new customer right from here uh, by tapping on plus button and uh, you can also upload all your customer list via CSV file okay so let's go back to the appointment now so tap on Duncan uh, tap on uh, schedule it will open up let's open the appointments what it does is open your calendar so by default it's going to open today's calendar and what you're looking at here is current appointments you can scroll it in any direction you like on y-axis what you have is your time slots and on x-axis what you're showing is the uh, different stylist uh, that uh, you have uh, for that particular day all right so these are the current appointment going on this filter button is uh, very interesting you tap on it let's say you want to see the selected uh, calendar for selected stylist all right somebody should show up and I would like only five stylists working I don't need to show the big view of calendar I only want to see calendar of these five stylists who are going to be working today on January 12th so it's going to filter and show you the selected calendar creating appointment very simple tap on the item add it's you know it's very uh, intuitive just uh, keep adding what you need the service it will pop up you offer uh, and uh, the stylist also you can it's already taken the stylist based on um, stylist to click to start the appointment but let's say there are two stylists will be performing the service you can you can attach that too uh, now say the service will go on more than 30 minutes so we can do that change the time slot and we can send the confirmation again by email or SMS to the confirmation uh, to the customer so you do that and tap OK and that's it so taking appointments sending the confirmation message to the customer is very simple now this is a view of calendar today uh, appointments now let's say this appointment if you open it up and let's say you just completed the service you can always tap OK the complete button it does it um, it again update your uh, service that's pending versus the service that has been completed so gray is the service that has been completed so I guess next thing you can do is you can actually switch between dates all you have to do is go on to the top right corner that uh, calendar icon 
just toggle that icon from forward or backward to switch between days. What it does is give you the view of the next day uh, for the selected stylus that you have on x-axis and um, y-axis what you have is a different time slots. So now you can also deselect and select the stylus that you'd like to see. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is select only few stylus and I want to see let's say this schedule look like on this particular day. I can do that. And then clicking on clock button, what it does is it gives you overall calendar regardless of stylist uh, for a particular day. So these are all the appointments of all the stylists for January 12th. Uh, so that's a view you can do. Now if you want to select another filter put it that I want to see only Annie's particular stylist appointment for a particular day, I can always do that too. So, uh, so now you can uh, switch back and um, on the back button what it does is basically brings you back to the overall calendar view. So it's very intuitive and simple interface and so in this demo I'm just going to conclude it here and we'll discuss other uh, features in the next demo. Until then have a great day.